In this tutorial, I will show you how to set up your file and artwork in Illustrator for printing white. The Roland has the ability to print white ink on a non-white substrate to create a base coat for a CMYK graphics. Let's say you want to print bright, colorful graphics on a natural corrugated or paperboard. Printing only CMYK graphics will cause your colors to darken and change hue. The Roland gives you the ability to print a layer of white and create a color neutral background for your CMYK graphics. There are two methods for printing white and you need to choose before saving your files for printing. The determining factor is the substrate you will be printing on. If the substrate is porous and will absorb ink, like a corrugated material, you will want to print the white and CMYK layers separately. This will give you the flexibility to print as many layers of white as needed. If you are printing on a film or other substrate that will not absorb ink, you can print white and CMYK at the same time. This is a much faster method and requires less preparation. To illustrate the different results between these printing options, I created several samples and printed them. I set up an AI file with a white square behind a purple square. The first sample was printed by setting the mode to white plus CMYK, while the second sample was printed with the CMYK plus white option. You can see the resulting differences between the two settings. For the third sample, I put a white square over the purple square in my AI file and set the mode to white plus CMYK. The result is identical to the first sample. The Roland will print white as a spot color in the correct order. Sample 4 was printed using individual files for the white and purple squares. Two passes of white were printed first, followed by CMYK. Notice that the white is more opaque and my purple square is much more vibrant. The fifth sample is CMYK only without a white background. Notice how the color has darkened significantly. To print white, you must first create a new swatch in Illustrator. Go to the swatches window and click New Swatch. Choose a vibrant color that is easily identifiable such as hot pink or 100% magenta. Do not choose white. The RIP will not print white since it assumes that the substrate is always white and will create a knockout. Title the swatch RDG underscore white, all caps, and select spot color as the color type. Your screen should look exactly like this. Apply the swatch to the artwork you want to print in white. For easier organization, place everything you want printed white on a separate layer. This way you retain the ability to export only your white objects as a separate file if necessary later. The layer order is not particularly important to the Roland, since you will set the mode option that controls if white is printed before or after CMYK in the VersaWorks software. If you will be printing white and gloss at the same time, simply save your file as a PDF by going to File, Save As, and selecting PDF as the file type. Add print to the end of your file to identify the file. You can go to the Roland and load your file into VersaWorks. If you want to print all white as a separate layer before printing CMYK artwork on top, follow this process. Save your file by going to File, Save As, and choosing PDF as the file type. Add CMYK to the end of your file to identify it. Delete the layer that contains the objects you assigned the RDG white swatch. The only layers you should have left are your regmarks layer and your CMYK artwork layer. Save changes to your file by going to File, Save. Open your original AI file and save by going to File, Save As, and choosing PDF as the file type. Add white to the end of the file to identify the file. Delete all of the layers other than the layer that contains the objects you assigned the RDG white swatch. You should only have one layer which contains the shapes you want to print white. Save changes to your file by going to File, Save. You can go to the Roland and load your file into VersaWorks. I will show you how to set up your job to print white in the VersaWorks lecture for printing white. 